here with Andre Norris from Mastermind Square. Uh, there was a couple questions I want to ask you. Go ahead, shoot. How do you feel about this being your 10th year in filming? Um, well, you know, 10 years is a long time. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's a decade. So for me, um, it's, it's great because it means that, you know, I guess you reach a plateau where, uh, you finally feel comfortable. The first couple of years, it was like, I didn't even really know where the camera was. So I had to just try to figure things out. I had no clue where the camera was. So we'd be filming the scene. And I think just seeing the, the, the lens, the camera lens, um, my eyes, I would just get mesmerized. And I just, you know, I'd just be staring in the camera. Well, do you still get uncomfortable at times? Um, well, I'm trying to think about that. Um, in front of the camera, um, not really, no. You learn to treat the camera like, you know, like it's natural. It's just another pair of eyes. You know, it's, it's like human eyes. It's just another pair of eyes that's there to see the world and capture the movement and the the expressions of people. What films was big in your learning process? Um, okay, I think Dead Zone and Dead Zone 2. And I'm going to tell you why. Dead Zone, because that was the first film where anybody gave me a, a chance. It was basically like, no, no, no. Before Dead Zone, you know, it was only certain films that I was really given the opportunity on. And basically everything I was given the opportunity on, it was because of me. But with Dead Zone, it was, it was like I finally nailed it. That was, I was a star in that movie, and the movie turned out to be okay. And so that was like the first film that really opened up doors. That led to helping TJ, Ball Game, and, and some of the other films. You know, I, I, I really wouldn't say that it was like double trouble or anything. And then with Dead Zone 2, uh, it was, that was the first, like, big, uh, that, was, that was the first time I reached like a big plateau. Right. I, I follow up something that was good. So those two films definitely uh, were, were big. Which do you favor most, acting or directing? Um, mm -hmm. Acting because film is an actor's medium. And, um, you know, with that being the case, directing is a little bit, it's, it's a little bit weird for me because, you know, um, I think that acting is something that is visual and directing is more subtle. Directing is more so you're like behind the scenes and you're telling people what to do. And with acting, you get to be expressive. You get to, you know, let a lot of your, let a lot of what you feel come out. And with directing, it's just not like that. You don't have as much freedom. You, you know, you got to stand around and tell people what to do. But I like them both. It's just that I favor acting. What are the advantages and drawbacks of independent filmmaking? Um, well, one of the advantages is, you know, you don't have to, you don't really have to go with an organized system. You can do your own thing. You can go against the grain and do things that, you know, they probably wouldn't do in Hollywood, but um, the drawback is you don't have that support. You don't have, the, you know, if something goes wrong, you know, it's all on you. You know, you have to uh, really take the reins and, and control things, so I think those are the advantages and drawbacks. You know, you get freedom, but then if something goes wrong, everything is on you as an individual. After 10 years, how hungry are you as a filmmaker? Um, you know, the hunger's still there. Um, it's, it sort of waxes and wanes a little bit, but, um, you know, I'm a filmmaker. That's, you know, a film is in your heart. You know, you're going to want to do it regardless as to how many years it's been. So, filming is, is in my heart, um, you know, but I have periods where it's, it's, it's a little bit difficult, you know, where you, you say, man, I don't, I don't really want to do this because, you know, I, I don't think I'm up to it, but it, it, it's, it's still there. It, for the past probably four or five years, it hasn't been, but it's, you know, it's, it's resurged. It's uh, back with a vengeance, and now I'm ready to, you know, take the film world by storm and um, definitely give 110%.
So, um, if there are no further questions. Well, that's all the time we have with Andre Norris. Thank you. My name is Marcus, and uh, I'm a member of the Mastermind Square, and uh, this is my home with Andre. Yeah, how you, you know doing? What I'm saying? And we just, you know, chilling, hanging around in my hood or whatever. Yeah, it's raining, so um, maybe we can step on the porch for a minute, you know, we can talk. Yeah, um, I've been with them for like eight years. Um, they've been doing this for ten years, man, you know, so I've been doing this since old one. Uh, well, let me ask you, what, uh, what... What film that you made do you like best? What, what's your favorite? Um, I'd say uh, Weekend and Ghost Run. Okay. They're one of my favorite ones. Um, well, just have, I just want to ask you, just talk a little bit about, you know, the experience that you gain as many years as you have, having film for, you know, the last five, you know, we really haven't filmed a whole lot, but just talk about the experience that you gain and how on you know, future films, you know, that's gonna benefit you. <clears throat> well, I mean, um, I mean, I got a lot of it from the uh, wall, you know what I'm saying, from Rico, and, you know, I used to use always so little, we always think it was always funny and funny games, but, uh, you know, now it's serious since, you know, we got right. film production coming to Detroit. Right. But like, I don't know about the first time, maybe. Yeah, I think um, the film production companies that's here is, that's a major opportunity, don't you agree? Yeah, I think we got we got a chance to do this since we've been doing this for so long. I think we got a chance to get it and make it. Right. Yeah, but the good thing is we ain't got to go all the way out there in Hollywood. You know, right. We're going to do a film production since we got the film to do that. But, uh, Cause it's good now because it's here. Right, right. Everything is in the D, so. You know, even though it's a bad place. You know? Yeah, we actually have footage of some of those things, right. you know, on, uh, on camera. So right. the economy is very really bad. People are losing jobs and homes. So how do you think the film production company is coming to Detroit? How do you think that's, you, you think that's a good thing? Man, yeah, I think that's a big ups, man, because, you know, they have something that, you know, somebody else could do. You know, still just, you know, robbing and, you know, I hear yeah, killing each other. Maybe they can yeah. start thinking about film production since we got film production yeah, here. something creative. And, uh, you know, the economy is being real bad, man. Shoot, man. They had Bush in here, and I finally got Obama. Oh, so, yeah, you can work something out. Well, uh, Marcus, I hear pretty good with drawing. Uh, can we see some of your work? Yeah, we can. We got to step inside my house for a minute. Okay. So, uh, I'd like to see some of your works of art. Yeah. Well, Marcus, this is your heart, so you can uh, flip through there and tell me about uh, some of the photos. Yeah, man, it's some of my drawings right here, though. Um, see, I drew a little stingray. So, uh, <coughs> tell me a little bit about that uh, drawing there. It looks like a stingray. Yeah, it is. Um, I did this like two months ago. Okay, uh, let's take a look at some of your other art. So, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, like I was saying, though, but, um, this, I watched a movie when I was younger, Pumpkinhead, and, um, I just started drawing it, so. Okay. I drew Pumpkinhead, and this how it came out. Yeah, it was really interesting. Um, okay, uh, Marcus, well, uh, that's about all the time that I have for this interview. Um, but you can share some of your personal thoughts with the audience, so uh, I'm going right, to say uh, goodbye and uh, <laughs> be out. My mom, man, she supported us a lot in this in this movie thing, man, since we was little, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it was really good till she died, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, life would go on. Keep doing this for my mom, for me, for my crew, and for everybody, all the y'all that supports. And I'm about to go. So peace.